prayer. One, two, one, two. <laughs> school hot rock grade one book so i hope that performance helped and i'll give you a quick little lesson on it now this isn't supposed to be a, a thorough going over of every single note just a quick overview um your initial four bars with this repeated e5 chord relatively straightforward of course it's just straight quavers but when that happens there is an incl inclination to speed up so make sure you're locked in really tightly to the backing track there's then a shift down to a C5 chord here, the 3 and 5, and um, it happens very fast. I suppose my priority is to hit that C5 chord, chord on the beat. I'm not suggesting you cut off the last quaver, but there's no need to maybe give it its full value. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and... My priority is to hit the C5 chord um, in bar 5. Then up to D, then to E5. Then the tune comes in, relatively straightforward. Doesn't give people much bother from what I found, that little tune. Then you have the... Just watch the rhythm there, the, the second chord, the D5 comes in on the offbeat. One and two and three and four and one. Okay, now the next two lines, which are uh, really four bars that are then repeated, this gives people the most bother, so I'll spend a bit of time with this. Uh, really just rhythmically is the problem. It's, um, let me play for you. A little counterintuitive, it's a little bit different from the other rhythms you've come across. So you might find yourself, I find a lot of people come in, they go one and two and, and they play that open E on the offbeat, where it is now on beat two, one and two and, and the C5 chord comes in on the offbeat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, okay? You want to spend some time getting that correct rhythmically. It's not particularly hard to play. It's one of those just funny rhythms you have to get into your head. One and two and three and four, whoops, one and two. Bit more straightforward. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and three. So if I play that whole line for you, I'll go slower actually. To give you a chance to, to really get the grips for that rhythm. It's one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and The next line is really the same thing, it just ends slightly differently. You have one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Just ends ever so slightly. And I would do finger one on the C, finger two on the C sharp, and then in the that rather than the one finger thing which never really works I would avoid that it's um, then uh, okay then 
And this is relatively straightforward. It doesn't say to pan mute, but I can't help doing it. It sounds better. I do find a lot of students play. It's ridiculous. Of course, you need to play three and four and three and four and three and four and three and four and then you have a really quite straightforward. Then an E minor chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. I hope that uh, little performance at the beginning helped. And I hope that very quick little lesson helped. Uh, if you're interested in the lessons, you know where to find me. I'm at 473 Lisburn Road in Belfast. All the best. Lee.